Hey guys, welcome to Lunchtime Live. You can see my tripod over here. I'm having te technical difficulties today, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but for some reason, my uh, app on my phone, which is how I normally come online, would not um, let me go live. Like I'd be clicking the button and it wasn't letting me do anything. So I have everything open on there. <laughs> that I need and nothing ready over here. So bear with me for a minute while I switch gears. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work and I'm betting that I don't have comments. Hi, Elisa. Hi, Annette. Hi, Sis Tuare. Nice to see you. Oh, I do have comments. Yay. Okay. Phew. At least that's one thing that I don't have to worry about. Um, but uh, yeah, so I was going to show you guys stuff today and this is going to make it considerably more difficult for me to show you things. So yeah, Father, thank you for giving me grace to switch gears. Not my favorite thing, but uh, yeah, seriously. Well, you know, I always, I always like to say technology is great when it works. So anyway, so my um, show and tell is an announcement this week. This is totally throwing me off that this is over here. So I'm just trying to figure out, let's see, can I do this? And of course, it's sitting on top of the flag that I wanted to show you guys. So I'm going to have to rearrange stuff a little. I don't know. Anyway, we'll figure that out as we go. Hi, Amber. Hi, Svetlana. Nice to see you. So this past week, I did, um, last week on Lunchtime Live, I talked about the fact that, I'm trying to figure out where the camera is. I think it's over here. Uh, I talked about the fact that we were going to start sharing on Diet for You Ministries, the blog there, the um, prophetic downloads that we've gotten from the team members as well. So we kind of didn't know the direction that blog was going to take and basically like it's just becoming a place for prophetic outpouring as well. And so um, I was so excited about this idea that this past week I... Uh, I had some time and sat down and put all of them in there. So there's like, you know, over a hundred posts that we've added, the historic ones um, from the team members. And then there's been a couple that have gone live since then. And so some of it is really cool because you guys have heard me talk about, um, you know, for example, Elisa from Waiting in the Wings, who is one of uh, the leaders on the team. And she has uh, an amazing blog that gets quoted all the time in Art and Silks, uh, waitinginthewings.org. And so she has given us permission to repost all of those posts so that you have like all of them in one spot to be able to see. So we created, and again, like this would have been a lot better with me showing you on the larger screen, but we created, if you can see this, we created, um, you know what, hold on a second. I'm gonna, okay, I've already got it on. I've got the do not disturb on here. All of a sudden that I don't need like somebody texting me in the middle of this, but we've got like, I don't know if you can see this, but we, we posted a little bio on all of the different team members. And so it's kind of fun because you can find out about the different team members. And these are just the ones that have shared something that's on the blog. And so anyway, um... <laughs> you're so funny. Hey, homie. Um, but uh, so there's a little bio on each of the team members who shared something on the blog. And it's kind of fun because, you know, I got to, I wrote all of the bios because I thought if I wait for everybody to write their bio, people hate writing bios. So I thought I'd write it, which is kind of fun because you get to kind of hear how they're connected to the ministry, how long they've been attached to the ministry. And, um, and God had me pick um, a picture to represent each of them. And in some cases, it's an art piece. Um, sometimes it, they are actually the person who's in the art piece. You know, sometimes it's an art piece that, you know, is connected to them somehow. Um, you know, whether it's one of their kids in it or whether, you know, one of the team members uh, commissioned an art piece and it is the, uh, the branding picture behind um, a blog that God's having her start. Um, Becky who paints, we have a painted silk, 
Um, you know, with uh, one of the team members, there's an inspired flow art piece that God had gifted to her last year. So like all of them have like some kind of a meaning behind it, but they're all something from the ministry. So either a died for you art piece or died for you silk or an inspired flow art piece. So anyway, hi, Miss Francis. Glad to see you could make it. So anyway, so when you get a chance, go check out the died for you ministries blog and for those of you who um, subscribe to the daily downloads from heaven and you're used to getting the, um, the, the recap of this video every week on there, we're actually not going to continue posting this on the daily downloads from heaven because what I realized is, you know, it's funny because you, you do things kind of in a pattern and sometimes you have to like stop and go, okay, why am I doing it that way? So before there was the daily downloads from heaven website and for those of you who don't know what i'm talking about um you know the prophetic nuggets that i share on here every week um started being birthed it's been almost three years ago it's two and a half years ago now and after i had a year's worth of them uh, we started putting together a book the daily downloads from heaven so this went live in may and so when this went live, I created a daily downloads from heaven website, and that is where I began posting the prophetic nuggets every day. So the daily downloads, AKA prophetic nuggets were getting posted on the daily downloads from heaven website. Hi, Miss Sherry. And so anyway, so when I did that, I had been posting them on the Diet Free Ministries blog, and so every Thursday I would share this video because it made sense, right? Because it's from the daily, it's from the Diet Free Ministries Facebook page. And so when I switched everything over, I just kept doing the same. I just did it over on that site, and all of a sudden it occurred to me as we've been sort of revamping the Diet Free You Ministries blog this past week, I started thinking about it, and I thought wait a minute, like, it doesn't make sense that I'm posting that over there because this is a Diet Free Ministries thing. So I'm going to be posting this video and the recap with all the links and everything on the Diet Free You Ministries blog every week. And then the nugget will be over on the uh, Daily Downloads from Heaven website. And I'll include a link back to it. So for those of you who are used to seeing these, you'll be able to link between them, but just explaining why they're not there anymore, which is probably more detail than most of you need. So sorry. But anyway, I just realized that uh, um, my new card is in there. So for those of you who have ordered from me, you know that I send um, one of, uh, we, ha we made these cards because um, people were gifting silks and art and you know, they would be excited about the ministry. That's why they would want to share it with somebody, but they wouldn't always explain like what the ministry is, <laughs> what we do. And so people would get it and be like, what is this? Like, I don't even know what this is. And so we created kind of, it's a quick like overview card. So of course it has the contact info, but on the back, it's got this description of what the ministry does, which I'll actually just read to you real quick because it's kind of fun to recap this, but at Diet for You Ministries, we believe in being able to hear hear God's voice. Excuse me, let me start over. Helps if I, I should have put my reading glasses on, but bear with me. At Diet for You Ministries, we believe being able to hear God's voice is vital to having an intimate, life changing relationship with Him. Our mission is to foster deeper intimacy with Him. We like to remind people that the words we share are intended to be a portion of a conversation, not a conversation in its entirety. He wants to talk with you. We pray that our ministry helps encourage many moments with him. So anyway, so that's what these say. So basically it just gives some context for people. And of course, I've got the little mini version of the cover on the back there just so that um, if people weren't aware of the fact that there's actually a devotional out because that's why we did it in the first place because from the letters, when people were getting the letters, they were like, oh my gosh, these are really good. You should make a devotional out of these. So we listened, we did. So anyway, all right, going back to my list, I'm, I'm still completely thrown off by having uh, my technology be backwards here. So hang with me. Um, okay, so um, pretty much Everything else I'm talking about today has to do with the art piece. So I'm going to pull it up here and see whether you guys will be able to actually see it since it's kind of small on there. But anyway, this is called the Lamb of God. And this piece came to be, uh, and it's actually, oh, let's see. 
a derivative art piece. And so um, for those of you who may remember um, the commissioned art piece, Daughter Live, that I showed, I haven't released that to the gallery yet, but, um, uh, but I'm going to. It's on my wall. As a matter of fact, maybe I'll turn it around and show you. But they, uh, they have um, some similar elements in it. And um, I have been being asked to do a, a lamb flag, a lamb died for you art flag for a while. And I kept asking the Lord about it and I didn't get anything and I didn't get anything. And then somebody had asked about um, a purple lion one and I was like, okay. And, um, and he ended up downloading one and I'll release that one next week, uh, King of All the Earth. And so you guys will see that next week. But this came as a companion piece. So there's actually going to be, um, this is going to, your I have Died for You Art Flags, which is my show and tell, which is what the, uh, the iPad is sitting on top of. And I'm going to have to rearrange for you to be able to see that. So you'll have to bear with me here in just a moment and we'll rearrange. But, um, the, the flags will be available individually, but they also will come in a mismatched pair with the, um, with the multi-art word that goes with it. And so I'm really excited about that. So it's going to be a lion and a lamb mismatched pair. So the lamb is the one that we're releasing this week, which is called the, the Lamb of God is the name of that. And the full word for that is in, um, <coughs> is is uh, online on the Died For You art site, but hang on a second, because I'm gonna read you the nugget um, from today that, hang on, I gotta get in the right spot. Um, and this is the one that goes, one of the ones that goes with the Lamb of God piece. And so it's called, My Kingdom is for Eternity. And the verse that goes with it, um, there's actually two. The first one is from Revelation 22. This is verse three out of the voice. No one, or nothing will labor under any curse any longer and the throne of God and the lamb will sit prominently in the city. God's servants will continually serve him and worship him. And the other one that goes with this is Luke 17, 21. This is out of the New King James. Nor will they say, see here or see there for indeed the kingdom of God is within you. And this is the word that God gave. Beloved, the kingdom of heaven is within, so allow my kingdom to manifest on earth through you. Walk in the freedom that has been blood-bought on your behalf and refuse to live in bondage anymore. My kingdom supersedes that of this world, for my kingdom is for eternity. Refuse to allow this temporary natural realm to mandate your life and, and beliefs simply because you've been taught to focus on it. Instead, focus your gaze on me and fix your heart on the things of me. Walk in the truth of my word, allow the supernatural to become natural, and bring heaven to earth. Shh, you don't need to talk to the, yeah, you don't need to talk to the post, the post lady. Sorry, they're outside and the dog is growling at her. Anyway, I love that word, and, and the part that God was highlighting to me is refuse to allow this temporary natural realm to mandate your life and beliefs simply because you've been taught to focus on that. And, you know, this is something you've heard me talk about before. Like, we spend a lot of time cultivating our natural senses. Um, and honestly, from a very young age, we are often taught to discount our spiritual senses. And so a lot of people, you know, learn to tune out, you know, their intuition, I say in finger quotes, which often is, you know, Holy Spirit reminding you of something or telling you of something or warning you of something. And we learn to tune that out. And, um, and so then, you know, as adults, those of us who are cultivating a relationship with the Lord, um, you know, struggle to try to reconnect those senses and really tune into them. But, it, and, and it feels awkward. And because we're adults and our natural senses, um, you know, come so easily to us, it's, it's easy to, to, to want to, um, actually, I'm going to back into this from a different direction. What can sometimes happen is because we're uncomfortable as adults doing things that are new to us, as a child, you're used to that because lots of things are new to you. But as an adult, it feels a lot more uncomfortable. We have a tendency to spend time in our sweet spot. So what can happen is if you have difficulty hearing from God, 
you will want, but you want a genuine relationship with him, it becomes very easy to draw off of other people's relationship with the Lord. And this is how ministry leaders get completely drained. Because what happens is rather than people cultivating their spiritual sense of hearing, okay, what they will do instead is hear through someone else's spiritual sense of hearing. And so this is where, um, you know, the, the prophetic has to be used in balance, okay? So it is wonderful. That's one of the reasons why one of our favorite things to hear when we give somebody a word that goes with their silk or their art is, oh my gosh, that was total confirmation. That's what it should be. Like what I don't like hearing is that it's like some out and left field word that doesn't connect anything that God's already talking to them. So what what you hear from other people should be sort of expanding and reinforcing the things that God's already talking to you about. And so this is why, you know, people often will spend a lot of time listening to other preachers, listening to the words that they give, you know, reading a lot of words online. And it's not that that's a bad thing. It's just that if that is the only way that you are hearing the voice of God, you are doing yourself a disservice because God wants to talk to you personally. And, um, and so, and the best way to start that process is just to listen. And, and then, you know, when you think that you hear something from him, act on it and then wait for him to bring confirmation of that. And that really is the, the best way to kind of develop that sense of hearing. Um, exactly. It puts being born again into a new perspective. That's beautiful, Lisa. That's so true. And you do, you have to, you have to learn everything all over again, because if you've been taught to shut those down, um, you know, so for example, you know, I talk about in my marriage testimony and I hadn't planned on going here. Um, but one of the reasons why I was able to persist in prayer, even though in the natural things looked really horrible was that God had given me a vision. This is what your husband looks like to me. And I aligned with that vision. And so that even though the things I was seeing in the natural realm, like flew in the face of that and dramatically so, like I just was like, I refuse to accept that. This is not who he is. This is not who God says he is. And I come in alignment with what he says, not what I'm seeing manifest here on earth, because that is not part of my husband. That is not who he is. And, and it was being able to keep that very clear visual image, right? So seeing with my spiritual eyes who he was and holding fast to that, that is what then allowed that to manifest here. Because what can happen otherwise is, and you see this a lot with people, and, and especially in marriages, wives will do this a lot because what they're going through um, is it emotionally just ravages us. It is. It's so hard. I'm not trying to say that it's not. And so what will happen is you'll have a wife who is diligently praying on the one hand, and then will turn around and, and talk to their friends about, oh, and he did this and he did that, and they're, they're magnifying the bad. And that's what they're focusing on and, and believing in and, and coming into connection with. And there's spiritual power in that. And so we have to, to be able to shift it. We have to come into alignment with the truth. And this works in every area in theory. And, and in some areas, I've been more successful with this than others, you know, because there's still areas in my life that I'm still pressing in and, and wanting to see breakthrough. And I haven't seen that yet, but, but that doesn't mean that it's not coming. Right. And, and, uh, you know, even if we think of, of Abraham, I mean, how many years was it between the promise of him having his own child children, right. And, and when that manifested. So sometimes there's, there's a waiting, but there's, um, spiritual equity in, in holding fast in faith during that wait. And one of the ways you can do that is by asking God to show you what it looks like and holding fast to that vision and refusing to let it go. And again, this is part of developing those spiritual senses. Anyway, hopefully that, um, hopefully that makes sense and blesses somebody. I want to share one other thing with you guys. And so I'm trying to get into that. Um, I'm trying to remember because I'm so discombobulated. The the, uh, the the thing that I wanted to share about today was a post that Elisa had shared called Our Weakness, God's Strength. And this actually is part of the word for Lamb of God. Um, and hold on a second. It's going to take me a second because I'm trying, I'm trying to jog my memory here. But one of the things that I 
like about this. Oh, that's that's that was the connection here. And so, and thank you for sharing that link. And actually, Elisa, would you also share the link directly to your website as well? I shared the I shared the link to the Died for You Ministries page just because I want to get you guys thinking about the fact that these posts are over there. But um, I love this um, uh, this post from her because it really exemplifies kind of that dichotomy of how often like the things in the spiritual realm don't make sense to our natural senses, which really is what we're talking about here. So like with my husband, what I was seeing in the natural did not align with what I had been told in the spiritual. And so, you know, but we have to hold fast to what is truth. And what is truth is not what we're seeing with our with our natural senses. It's what God is saying with his spiritual senses because his kingdom supersedes right? So the natural realm will go away, but the spiritual realm is there for eternity. And so that is, even though we have basically done ourselves a disservice by focusing on the realm that is temporal, right? It's temporary. It's not going to be here forever. And we've become experts in this thing that's only going to be here for a little while. It's kind of like, you know, um, if you think about technology and how technology will age out, you know, I mean, I, I, uh, my dad, when we were younger was a big computer junkie. And this is back when it was like green screens, you know, and, uh, you know, computer games were like playing lemonade stand, which you did by typing words back and forth, you know? And, and so if, when you become an expert at that, you know, that doesn't do you any good today right? Because that has passed away. Like that technology is gone. It's no longer useful. And basically that's what we're doing. So like, you know, your, your first uh, smartphone, you know, which you probably had 10 years ago, the technology is completely different from what is available today or, or fill in the blank, whatever technology you want. And that's essentially what we're doing by focusing on the natural realm. We are, we are making ourselves experts in a technology that is going to disappear, because this is not going to be here forever. So what makes sense is to focus on what is eternal. And the only thing that is eternal is the spiritual realm. And so that is where we need to be focused. That's what we need to be cultivating and developing. So it's worth the time. It's worth the effort to do that. And I think that sometimes it's easy to get discouraged um, because we haven't had people reflect back to us the importance of it, but we need to understand it, whether it's reflected back appropriately or not. And so what she's talking about in her, her our strength, God's, our weakness, God's strength, is talking about the dichotomy of the, the picture of the lamb, you know, who is the, the sacrifice that, that um, you know, that, that shifts things for us for eternity because the, the lamb of God, AKA Jesus was given as a sacrifice, you know, for, for us to release us. And so anyway, I, I love that, um, God frequently does that where he works with something that feels completely illogical, right? Which it says in the word, right? That he uses the foolish things to confound the wise. And that is exactly how he works. And so not allowing yourself to dismiss things as being ridiculous, right? Which is what happens a lot when people are talking about spiritual things, because they'll be like, well, that can't be right, you know? And, and no, it, it might be because that's how God works. Okay. Um, I want to show you this flag, which is going to require rearranging. So hang with me here for a second, because I'm not entirely sure. I think my leg went to sleep too, so bear with me. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to set. Oh, yep, my leg's asleep, and I'm trying not to step on the dog. So hang with me. By the way, that is the picture that is the one that the lamb is the derivative of. I don't know if you can see this, but hold on a second. Let me let me do this. I'm walking backwards here so you can see it a little bit better. But um, you can see that the it has the, the cross with the river um, that has the blood coming down from it. And I'm going to release that piece uh, in the not-too-distant future. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you because I think um, that's kind of fun that it... Uh, that it has that common, okay, let's see, common element. All right, hang with me. I'm going to try to, please don't fall over. All right, honey, can you move, please? Thank you. Oh, thank you. You're such a nice pup. Oh, you're such a nice pup. So this is one of our dyed for you art flags, and I can't tell if you can see what's going on here or not, but you can see the lamb. And so here it is. In motion and you know what you can't see it with the light behind it that well let me 
Let me figure out a different place to, to set this. Let's try here instead, because I think you'll see it a little bit better. <laughs> and so, is that any better? Kind of. At least that part over there is a little better. <laughs> anyway. But it's so lovely. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to go into some prayer time here while I'm sitting here flagging with this, so bear with me. Um, let me... I'm moving the tripod out of the way since clearly it is not useful. And I'm going to set that just a little bit right there because I think that's going to work a little bit better. Yes, so post any prayer requests that you may have. Trying not to knock things over here while I'm flagging. Um, it's been a while since I flagged on here with you guys. Isn't it gorgeous? I know, I love this. <laughs> oh, and Annette, by the way, thank you for commenting on that because I actually have one of these that I'm going to give away. And, um, and right before we came live, Annette, God told me he wanted me to give it to you. So you have one of these coming. <laughs> When I send you your next package, just know uh, I've got one of these on here. So anyway, all right, well, Father God, we just thank you, first of all, for uh, helping me switch gears. I just have to thank you for that. Thank you for always keeping things interesting. But you have a plan and you are sovereign, so you are not shocked at the way this went today. This was your plan all along, and we just had to align with it. So thank you for that. And Father, we just thank you that you use the uh, foolish things to confound the wise, and we just thank you um, for the way that you move, because you are so good, and you love your children. You love your children. You love your children. Your plans for us are good plans, Papa, and we just thank you for that right now. And so, Father, right now, I just pray that we would be able to develop our spiritual senses even more, Father. And regardless of where we are in spiritual maturity, Father, there's always more. And so, Father, we just thank you right now for developing that maturity, for helping us. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. You're so good. You're so good. You're so good. Hallelujah. Father, for those who are hurting and grieving, Father, we just pray for comfort. For those who are in need of healing and restoration, Father, we just pray that, that blessing of healing on them and just grace in, in the desert and dry seasons. Father, you're so good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, as I'm just sitting here using this flag with the reminder of the sacrifice that was made for us. Father, we just thank you right now that you said it was your joy. It was your joy to send him to save us. And so, Father, we just thank you right now that even though you loved him and it hurt you to do it, it was your joy nonetheless because of the fact that you had such a desire to see us saved to see us atoned for. And so, Father, we just thank you for that. I think it's so easy to become complacent in our walk and to forget the cost that that walk was paid with. So, Father, we just thank you right now. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're such a good God. Such a good God. Coming to see if you guys have any prayer requests. Hallelujah. You are most welcome, Miss Annette. Yep, he literally said that earlier. I had it listed that I was going to do the giveaway, and I was like, okay, I don't know how I'm going to do that. And, uh, and then <laughs> when, when I was talking with you earlier, he was like, you're going to do it because you're giving it to Annette. And I was like, oh, yay, all right. Yeah, I have to say, Elisa, the, I'm, I'm tempted to grab the other one and give a preview on the uh, multi-art set together because it really is um, powerful. Yes, amen, Father. Thank you for healing in Francis's body. As a matter of fact, I am going to cheat and give you the preview on, on both of them. So hang on a second because I have to tilt this slightly because I'm going to need more space. But this is 
the pair of them together. As a matter of fact, I'm going to switch arms because you're never going to see the light-colored lamb through that window. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I have to tell you that this particular pair has just, I'm in love with it. <laughs> I think it's my favorite Dying for You art set. The Lion of Judah one is so popular and I, I love that one, but this one, oh, it has my heart. So anyway, well, thank you, Father. I saw someone using them actually layered like this and it was kind of fun to see how they combined that way. I don't know if it's giving the same kind of a feel with the light behind it or not, but in person it looked really, really cool. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Well, guys, I don't have anything else for right now, and so... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to set that there. Thank you, God. Yeah, they are just beautiful together. Well, I don't have anything else. <laughs> and I'm feeling so backwards over here, so I'm probably just going to go ahead and cut this off at this point. So after my hour last week, I guess we're going to have a short one this week. But thank you all for coming, and I look forward to seeing you next week, lunchtime live, same, same time, same place, so 1 p.m. Central Time. And um, don't forget to go check out the Died for You Ministries blog, see all the new posts, check out the Meet the Team, because again, it gives you a good idea of who is praying for everything behind the scenes. Um, and, and it's not the full team, but it's the full team that has shared stuff on the site, so it at least gives you an idea. And uh, so anyway, that's it. Love you guys and have an awesome week. See you next week. And uh, in the meantime, happy worshiping. God bless you guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>